Surviving the pandemic, I feel you, man. We're all we're on that same boat. We're all here. We're all in it together. All right, guys, let's get some gold. Today is a rich day. No more messing around, guys. The spire has been insulting me. I heard some things through the grapevine. The spire has been saying some things. The heart has been trucking some trash. I figured, okay, today I got to teach some lessons. You know, we can't have the heart talking trash. That's just a no-go. I got my dogs acting up. Acting a fool. What's up, little boys? Wow, we are losing all our life on the first floor. This is incredible. Okay, let's be fair. We did take 18 damage to get this gold, but this gold is going to be huge. Got pommel, thunderclap, and body slam, man. Eh? I'll be. No, no, no. Let's try a thunderclap early. I'm still trying things. Oh my god, that's the best recalcum I've ever gotten. Oops, I shouldn't have locked. Whoopsies. I literally should have done an extra strike. Whoopsies. Yo, appreciate it so much, man. $10 from the Genuine Buzz. Been watching a lot. Uh, let me read this. Watch the channel. You feel like it's only for to pay back for all the awesome content. Hey, I appreciate it a lot, man. Thank you so much for that uh, $10 donation. Very generous. Really appreciate it. Inflame versus uh, Evolve. I'll go for the Inflame. Go for the damage when in doubt. Ooh, we can take the bronze scales in this. It's not bad, eh? Remove a strike. And now we need to do something with this... Uh, with this strength, we gotta get like a strength dumping card. I would say that was a worthwhile shop. And I was a good use of gold. Don't you guys, don't you guys agree? The only problem is we have like... Some decent supplemental stuff, and I would say, in general, pretty trash other cards. But Oricog was fantastic, guys, and Bronze Skills is fantastic. We had some good, good relics. The genuine bust of the tier one sub, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Watch on YouTube, and then you come over here and show some support. I really appreciate that, man. As my hair days is crazy today, I'm just trying not to look at it too much. Been a long time since I've came, been here. I hope you're doing well in stream. Hey, man, big little buck. I am doing well. How are you doing? Good to see you. We're talking this big, big, big. Molten egg. Wow. Say it ain't so. Because we need to put attacks in our deck. And what helps put our attacks in our deck? A molten egg. Smiling mask. Not bad. That means that the next shop, I could actually remove a card. So we move one more strike, and then now we fill up that strike slot with an upgraded card from Molten Egg, an attack-wise. And then once we get an attack on the deck, well, sky's the limit. It's incredible. Spire's being great today. Ooh, we got Twin Strike, and that's a perfect way to dump our strength. Absolutely. Ooh, Heavy Blade's a good way to dump our strength, too. Don't get me wrong. Should I take the Heavy Blade? Ooh, that is a good way to dump our strength. And for Snaven, Snaven loves Heavy Blade. I'm doing it for Snaven. I would like to remove a strike. Don't get me wrong. I'm doing it for Snaven. Snaven loves this card. And I don't blame him. Alright, and I can inside weakness sucks. Remove is 100% better. Remove is 100% better. Fiend fire. I'll take it. Fiend pain's not bad though. Oh, it's gonna be a tough one. Oh boy. Heavy Lay is getting a little awkward now with the Fiend fire in the bash. Let's get this be real. It's getting a little awkward. Think your favorite card is Flame Bear? is an amazing card. I do not blame you. All right, come here, buddy. You want to come on my lap? I got two dollars in my lap right now. Oh, two dogs in my lap. One sec, guys. One sec. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Relax, 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 relax. It's okay, buddy. 
It's okay. I got you right here. There you go. Right here. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Why are you guys acting up? Why are you guys acting up? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now's the time. Oh, we got uppercut, which is perfect for the vulnerable. Sorry, for the weekend that we want. I want to get the weekend, but now we have bash, fiend fire, oh, uppercut, and heavy blade. Very awkward. Very awkward. Um, and we didn't get spot weakness, which is even worse. And we didn't get a weekend, which is even worse. But you know, Snekawa is gonna be kind to us if we get it. Careful, buddy. Holy shit. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I should not take uppercut when I have upgraded bash. That's like a, a rule of thumb. General rule of thumb. But now, um. Nah, I'm full of just, uh, whatever. It is what it is. You wanna see the boys? This is little Albie. He's been feeling kind of funny. Uh, I might lose here, actually. Getting a big fiend fire there with Swift Pop might, might have been the play. Oh, never mind, we got this. Easy. We got Offering. Uh, offering's gonna help with the fact that we have a lot of expensive cards. And we got Sneko Eye. Man, I just could feel it. I was taking so many two cards cards, I was like, I gotta will Sneko Eye into existence. Otherwise, well, well, then I'm just a monkey right now. Not bad. But weakness, eh? This, this is classic. Okay, I don't really have the AoE for these. Um, but I do want to get the spark out of the way, so let's go this way and get some uh, events. Oh, Fiendfire Snekawai. Can you name a more iconic duo? Iconic, eh? Getting rid of my uppercut. I don't know if that's the best move, but... Wow, oh, three energy, huh? I'm high rolling, exactly. I'm high rolling. This is awkward. Because I would like to get lethal, but I currently can't. Wow, Snickle Eye was not being kind. Uh, please let me get lethal. Well, how do you stop and get lethal? That's fine. Cleave has some AoE. We needed it. We needed it. We needed it. I'll take it, but man, that hurts. I'll be honest. Kind of curious because I can... Oh, bag of prep. Okay. Getting bites. They're going to be upgraded bites. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Membership card. I do want to remove one of the bites. I want to remove the rive rather, but... Membership card is kind of tempting. Oof. I do want to remove the rive. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. I do want to remove it. Drawing five cards, I'm probably never going to get advantage of the offering plus. So that was probably a bad upgrade. Just saying. Just saying. Try to I got to say, it's damn addictive. Really cool if you want a strategic game of hard choices, morally speaking too. A nice steampunk setting. All right, I'll check it out. Go for two leads here. We got offering opening hand. Remember what I said about the offering upgrade? All right, not the worst start. It's currently on a huge shelf for Halloween. What's the price right now? I could kill one of them. But then I'm gonna get rid of all my other bites. Is that worth? It's okay, we can bite up in other fights. What's up, Ethereus Laugh? It's currently 10 bucks? That's a steal. Where are bites? Not here. Preserve Insects is fantastic. Flame Bearer is fantastic. Lick of Memories is quite good. Rigo Pillow is fantastic. I'll use that to... Honestly, I'll Rigo Pillow here to full. I don't really need any upgrades. And let's go. Fight the Sparkle. All I want is spot weakness. And 
Unfortunately, I didn't even get that. Now, what's awkward about this is that I want to get inflamed, but look at the cost. Whereas I could do Thunderclap, or sorry, other Uppercut, Fiendfire. And think about the difference of that. That's a turn. Sneko Eye, bag of prep of Fiendfire. I mean, Fiendfire has been a great pickup, hasn't not? Now, the only thing is, we want to get lethal here. So, actually, drawing five cards here was very good because I wouldn't have gotten lethal if I didn't get those five cards. Okay, but maybe I would have, but that wasn't too bad. Dreamcatcher, a little bit awkward. These are a little bit awkward. And now we can go back to removal. Another Fiendfire. Fiendfire is so good, we can get another one. Or we can get Final Pain to make this Fiendfire a little bit better. Or our deck is kind of small. Maybe Abacus pops off, honestly. It makes Oricalcum a little bit worse, but like, okay, our deck's small enough where Abacus might be popping off. I feel like we have a small deck, we got a lot of card draw. I do want to remove the Rive as well. I think Final Pain for the occasional Fiendfire is not bad, but other than that, I don't have Exhaust. What's up? Uh, I got my first Defect win last night, thanks to Calipers. Let's go, buddy. So, I don't know. In general, Headbutt for the spot weakness could help me out a little bit. Um, but what I'll say is that Phenol Pain sometimes does some work, but other times, not that much. So, I guess we try to make it work in other ways. But I was trying to think that, like, maybe... Maybe it's important to... Just play as proactive as possible with your deck. What I mean by that is... If a, if a card doesn't really fit extremely well at the moment... Okay, okay there's such a thing as future scaling, right? Future... Another Flame Barrier versus Shock Whip. Shock Whip for the weekend is fantastic, but Flame Barrier is really going to help uh, finish our block off. Our block needs to be there. I should have done Twin Strike as well. It's okay though, that's good damage. It's quite good damage. Flame Bear is going to be very, very big for our block. Our deck, the upgraded attack shift is fantastic. Dark Embrace. I like Dark Embrace as a power, but I'm trying to save like I'm bloating my deck a little bit. When I take a Dark Embrace, that's when it feels bloaty. This is when it starts feeling bloaty, but Dragon Brace is one of those powers that's just very good for the Ironclad. And my deck is so strong that I feel like, okay, I could take things that are not that great for me, but have, like, super good value, like Evolve and, you know, late game stuff. So this is the late game stuff that I'm thinking about. I'm adding late game stuff now because my deck is so ahead of the curve early. All right, let me just... Let me just slow down. I, I'm talking too much, and I'm playing too fast, and I need to slow down. And things like killing these things when they shouldn't be killed. Etc, etc. I'm making a lot of mistakes, so let me just focus up. Um, if you guys have questions, let me know. He's re-summoning here. Got bite here. Got some bites. Um, part of me thinks I should be focusing him. Should be focusing because I do a lot of damage. Now, right before the debuffs, I can do a lot of damage. Start biting back up. To use any potions, I just like played it so trash at first. Ah, uh, I can no longer rest, which makes Regal Pillow and Dreamcatcher feel bad, but we do like the energy a lot. 
And I guess we do have bite and sustain in other ways with burning blood. So I say maybe we don't rest and just use the bites. Maybe look for a reaper at some point. I could develop a choker. I feel like, okay, six cards is going to be hard to... Uh, I don't know. With Snake White, hitting six cards might, be, might happen more often than you realize, right? With Snake White, six cards is probably happening every other turn. Okay, not every other turn, but often enough where choker might m mess us up. I've been checking it out. Kai, I'm on episode four right now. I'm enjoying it. I was wary at first, but I'm enjoying it. I'm on episode four. Well, the question is, is it choker or is it um coffee dripper here? Can we get away with the bites for the healing? Maybe find a reaper at some point? I don't know. Starts a little late for me because I make sure you put it feel bad, honestly. What do you think so far, Kite? For the show. Go for Mind Bloom here. I could remove two cards, though, with the uh, Smiling Mask. I should, I should consider that more often. I don't, I don't want to be too aggressive because I don't have that much life, but at the same time, those are my best damaging cards. You saw the whole thing, Lagia? Like, yeah? Get some bites in there. Nice. Well, apparently, it's the number one show in 27 countries right now. So that's not bad. If taking damage here is not good. You see what I'm saying? Because. I'm also use a potion here. Save some life. Copy dripper is a thing. I should respect it a little bit. Pommel strike. I'll take it. Let me get mind bloom. Ooh. Get this curse for a lot of gold. We have membership card. That's worth a lot of gold. That's worth a lot of gold. Membership card, that's way too tempting. Way too tempting. The show quotes a lot of real testament stuff, and she's based on Fisher character. Oh, she's based on the Fisher character. That's interesting. Like this little American that comes out of nowhere, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Take a corruption here. Let's go ahead and upgrade the demon form here. Although, I'm not having that time for demon form, but it's not bad to upgrade it. Ooh, we got a heavy blade here too. That's crazy, huh? Let's do this. Should squeeze these cleaves in. Um. That's a really big regret. My bad. Ah, oh, that's a big fiend fire. We just got lethal. Just like that, we got lethal. Let's get some more healing going. I guess there was a world where we do take the... Uh, There was a world where we do take the uh, Black Star, right? Oh my god. No. No way. This is something I need badly because I'm don't. i very bad against multi-hits right now against the heart. Classical gas? Aye, 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 boys. 
Losing Tungsten is a bummer. Listen to it. Classical gas. Okay, I'll check it out. I'm sure I've heard it. I just don't know by its name. You know what I'm saying? It could be the name that's messing me up here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I know. I got the key, man. I had to take the key. Rough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've heard it. I've, I've listened to a lot of classical music in my day. Not to be that guy. Got the Evolve. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Evolve means much in this deck. A close line from our weekend. I don't think we need this. Let's go check out this shop. Let's hope he doesn't give me the curse. Whoa. Did we just play Fiend Fire and say, Jesus, take the wheel? What do you guys think? Jesus, take the wheel? Okay. A little bit scary. A little bit scary. There should be some good damage right now. It's a lot of reflect damage. Let's get a bite and BB. They could bronze for the heart. I could, but I think our damage is good against the heart. That's not the issue. Against the heart, we're worried about um. Well, we're worried about a lot of other things. Medical kit feels okay for the um, the fact that I have a funeral pain in the deck and a dark embrace. That means against the Act 4 lead, I could use this Burns to my advantage. Now, I think we take out the Regret. And I don't mind the Strawberry, but... Um, aside from that, these are, it's not the best shop. I think I save money for the next shop. Although, I can probably get away with buying something, just because I am very rich. I don't know how much a Red Skull is going to help me. Whirlwind for the Act 4 Elite. I don't think we need that either. Maybe take another Shrug it off, if anything. More skills for Corruption with Shrug it off. It's not bad. More skills for Corruption, which we're going to have to... So once we get Demon Form and play against the Heart, we're going to have to use Corruption as our secondary line of defense to get more bang for our buck out of our uh, skills. So having more skills for Corruption for the Heart gives us more longevity. And then we should be able to bite up and kill him with Demon Form. Um, but anyways, I'll, I'll skip for now. I want to play in flame. It's not bad damage though. Corruption here just wins because uh, he has no life left. Paper Frog. Ew, our damage is really good. So our damage is not the issue. Damage is not the issue. Whoa, we got my blue many whiz. Let's go get a rare relic here. Because we lost Tungsten Rod. So you know what's next? Since we lost Tungsten, this is going to be a Tori. I'm calling it. Calipers. Calipers are Clory. Calipers or Tori? <sighs> oh my lord. Champion Bell, that's not bad. Another spot weakness? Spot weakness doesn't feel as good if I don't have Reaper, you know? Like, having Reaper means like, okay, the strength skilling, there's like an out in terms of... Yeah, I don't know. Without Reaper, this deck is 
It just doesn't seem like it has the health pool to win. I feel like I'm lacking the health pool to win here. It's a little bit troublesome. At Fiendfire right away? I don't know about that. It's a tough fight. Um, Fiendfire and all these powers, if you don't care about them? We're not playing Corruption in this fight? Alright, we get rid of those powers. We don't care about the powers. Now the deck is free of powers and bad stuff. And just all it has is good defense. I think we'll play one of these. That's fine. I think I should do some damage here, huh? We can always bite back up in this fight. I don't want to stall too long. Alright, not bad. He has good weaken on him. We bite up. The bites are not inconsequential. Although... I want to do uppercut. The flame bear is so tempting here. Just want to save some life, I guess. Flame bear yet again is very tempting. This gives me weakened though. Thirty-six. Should I get some bites going? We got bites, and this got lethal as well. Let's get on out of here. I guess I could have bited some more. Or I could, more dead branch. Sorry, more demon form scaling. Perhaps. Oh, that's good damage, though. I'm curious. Not bad. Paper frog means my, I'm, I'm accelerated. Let's get out of there. Ooh, demon form early. Nice. Dark embrace early. Nice. Bash early. Nice. Go ahead and let's go wait for Dreamfire to be lethal because we have Demon Form. We have five cards we can play here. Three cards we can play here. Two cards we can play here. Two cards only. Could be the death of me. I don't want to take damage, but I also want to play these powers. Because I have Fiend, I have Fiend Fire coming in with lethal soon. So Fiend Fire should be lethal soon. If not lethal, at least a good block for me. They're looking close to lethal now. What, 248 right now? 248 enough? What do you guys think? Should be. I'm heavy late in the mix. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Pretty easy fight. So the problem is that just the health pull against the heart is the main, main concern. No tongues to run, no Tori. No calipers. No barricade, no trench. No feed. No Reaper. Alrighty. I think I make it though, so that's interesting. Limit break? That could really accelerate things. Pocket Watch? Do we ever... Do we ever play less than three cards? Pocket Watch is interesting. If I had to remove, do I remove a bite at this point? What do I remove at this point? I'm not even sure. I have a lot of gold. Bag of marbles. Do I remove a bite? Don't clap. Don't clap. Still useful now. Status effects. Remove one bite. Do I want the limit break? I don't think it's necessary. Do I take this for more skills? I'm not sure. 
Headbutt, maybe for Flame Barrier, because I only have a limited block. I don't think so. Shrug it off, I don't mind. Pocket Watch might come in handy, you never know. Evolve, I don't think I need. I think I like this for the Artifacts, sorry, for the Vulnerable. And I think Essence of Steel is not the best, but it's better than these, I would suppose. Like Spot Limit Break. I mean, it's possible, but I think we're already fast as it is. We're worried about... I think we're pretty fast as it is. I don't even use defense. I could get rid of defense, honestly. It's probably better than... Getting rid of defense is probably better than getting rid of bite. Because we use our strength so much, and bite is a three block. Still keeps Ori in check. Three HP, I mean. And it does dump our strength. Um, Limit Break could help. But it also could just be like a curse. I'm gonna go ahead and skip here, I think. I don't mind Evolve though, because we do have Medical Kit. Although, with what? With what? Uh, what status is it coming in? Not much, right? Let's skip here. Uh, that's a lot of gold I didn't use. I kind of just want to buy Limit Break because I spend my gold. Limit Break could help speed me up, it could also just be a dead card. Uh, I'm trying to think if it's dead card more often than not. Chemex doesn't do anything. I don't have any X class cards. Unless I get dead branch randomly. Unless the leads drop something, what could they drop? Whirlwind? I would never take it anyways, I don't think. I'd rather take Limit Breaker because at least Limit Breaker can have some value. But it's also a card I don't think I need. Hmm. Who knows? This is a turn one. This is a turn one. A demon form and everything. I might have lethal. <coughs> I might have lethal here, Paper Frog. Uh, I don't know how to do Paper Frog math, but... I think we got it. Now we can do Flame Bear or we can do Demon Form. What's better? We already have three strength. Flame Bear protects my life total, but I can bite back up. Demon Form should be able to win the fight. Yeah, thank you guys. Demon Form should be able to win the fight very soon. I'll do this then. No, I was wrong. Uh, maybe I was wrong about... Uh, that sucks. Right now I need to bite up. How do I bite up? Uh, if I can't bite up, then I'm just dead, huh? If I can't bite up, I'm dead. Hmm, that's rough. What's up, Barry? Love life. Beko, Shockwave. Evolve Dark Embrace. Corruption early. This deck is so fast that maybe Corruption early is good. What do you guys think? Is this deck so fast that corruption at least good? And we gotta beat him in four turns, basically. Roughly. Stop the vulnerable. At least he's weakened for the rest of his life. He's vulnerable for the rest of his life. I gotta do damage more. More damage. Got a decent offering. I wanna wait till the offering is I'm not weakened. So I wanna do offering with a lot of damage, so I wanna wait till I'm not weakened. 
Flame Bear here is not bad. At least one Flame Bear here is fine. Try to get Heavy Blade out and stuff. Uh, getting Bites is fine. But now I gotta be able to win. I don't, I don't have Demon from out and play yet. But I'm doing decent damage. And now I'm not weakened. Uh, the, because of the... Uh, that's awkward. I got Pocket Watch, but that's awkward because of the Thorns. This is a good Dark Embrace, eh? I kind of want to play all these Bites. There's a lot of healing. But... Yeah, these Bites are a lot of healing, no? I'm running out of... Okay. Okay, I think the healing on these Bites is worth it. Nah, I gotta do enough damage here. I don't want to get rid of all my stuff because I, oh, I just got to do heavy blade next turn to win. I, I just win next turn, right? Well, if I do 72 damage now, I win next turn. No, I, yeah, I basically win now because then all I got to do is block. All I got to do is block this next attack. So I think I bite as much as possible. But I need this block. This block's important, actually. Let's bite back up. And then we just win next turn. Sorry, the turn after the next turn. The deck was fast enough, was able to block enough because of corruption. So it's just a really fast deck. Play corruption early and get a lot of value early. Get a lot of value, a lot of value, a lot of value. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Blazing fast deck, 40 minute run. Blazing fast. Wasn't that fancy.